The battle that was commemorated today had the Cheyennes charging in off the mountain with our flag, the Morning Star flag, the blue and white flag with the Morning Star symbol on it because the Cheyenne people, we call ourselves the Morning Star people. We have our own flag song. We have our own national flag. You know, the uh, Cheyenne people, we believe that we are a nation. We are a nation yet today. So this is an act of sovereignty that we commemorate this battle where our people achieved victory. That land should be Cheyenne land rather than being on our border and being considered today a national cemetery, a national park. So these are the challenges that we face today and also our representation at the battle. American people think that these wars that took place, like the Battle of Little Bighorn, is ancient history. They'll often tell Indian tribes like the Cheyenne, you just got to get over it. But you don't get over your history. The man who fought in the Battle of Little Bighorn for the Cheyenne Nation, Richard Wittenlakes, was the man who raised my mother. That's how fresh it is in our mind. And the message that the Cheyenne people always tell us younger people, never forget that we were once a free people. Always tell your children we were a free people. And never forget that we are always going to be a nation. The Cheyenne Nation must continue. Hey, hey, hey.